everyone knows like our hearts you know our politics and our hearts are down and to the left and like we're in full solidarity with the people of the global south so like decolonization like formal decolonization happened after world war ii who were they decolonizing from it was primarily the fucking british empire and guess what decolonization has not been fulfilled because the commonwealth still exists and because imperialism just morphed into new new types of like global control vis-a-vis -vis capitalism primarily and so if we're trying to abolish like capitalism and imperialism then we need to actually continue the project of decolonization because decolonization decolonization movements and revolutions were specifically against the british empire and other european-based empires like france for example in belgium and so Let's give it, let's keep doing it. <laughs> let's just keep decolonization going. Yeah, imperialism has like grown and morphed during the neoliberal era, but so too has decolonization, you know? Like our movements for decolonization may not always be revolutionary. They may not always anymore take the form of like taking back a nation state and trying to rebuild a nation and a, a project that has nationalism attached to it. But that does not mean that people in the global south or indigenous people here in the belly of the the u.s imperial beast haven't been engaged in decolonial struggle also the entire fucking time that she was queen we've all been engaging we've all been trying to decolonize from the shit that she represented right and that the united states represents to a lot of people throughout the world and so that's the kind of stuff i think we celebrate right we celebrate those things and we actively participate in those things as the red nation and certainly here in the podcast, like, that's what we do. We talk about those struggles and those histories.